Hey, what's up, YouTube? Chris Gardner here. Something a little different for you today. We are looking at how we can store some of our favorite or most useful websites offline for reference later. Let's say that you are prone to internet connectivity problems. Maybe you have a, an off-grid cabin or a cottage that uh, doesn't have a lot of internet and you may need some reference materials while you're there. This is a great opportunity for you. I'm going to show you how much free information is out there. The whole thing is free actually. It's a software server type program that uh, takes a number of websites and allows you to share them from within your house. Now they're not necessarily dynamically updated. So, you know, Wikipedia is actually one of those websites that we can, we can grab. Uh, but we're not going to have something, for instance, about the Hunga Tonga eruption that happened uh, this week because most of the archives are created on a, a monthly or, or even more extended basis or frequency. But that's beside the point. So let's first show you what it is, how it works. And remember, this next website we're going to go to, it's actually stored within my house. It has all the information from this web, from Wikipedia, in fact, with pictures and, and everything. So you can store all this information at your house and refer back to it. So maybe you are a 3D artist and sometimes you need some Blender stack exchange, but you're trying to work from the cottage or something like that. You could have a bunch of this information saved for you. Uh, and this, this is what it is. So these are all, all things I've saved to, to have. I kind of went a little bit crazy with it because I thought it was a pretty fun idea to be able to store this kind of information in my house. And some of these are helpful. Some of them are for fun. Like I told guests when they come over, if you guys want to read a book, like just here, go to this one, URL, uh, static IP on my network at a certain port I have opened for it. So I have 30 different uh, websites that I'm hosting. Uh, some of them I just wanted to get because I thought they'd be fun to have. The other ones I, I also consider, you know, what if there was ever a time where I could was not able to access these websites anymore which ones have i taken for granted so for instance you know i have when i have guests come over most recently around the holidays uh, i had just gotten this prepared and i was like hey guys you know if you know if you want to read a book while you're here uh we've got uh, 5300 pages of them almost uh, of books to choose from so let's go peter pan you want to uh there it is and, you know, now that it's in this format, it's pretty easy to pipe it into some sort of uh, dictation or, you know, reciting software that may be built onto your computer. So you could have audiobooks, you know, if you don't mind your uh, robot voice from your computer, uh, read to you pretty easily. But, you know, that's kind of getting off on tangent here. So this is the list of what they have available content in all languages. This is not just for English speaking. We have, uh, you know, it starts off with Wikipedia. I think that that is kind of what helped this thing be created was um, if you check out their mission statement, it's really a, a cool project. They wanted to help bring information, reference materials to a lot of um, disadvantaged locations or countries. You know, you can, you can read more about it. It's a, it's a good story, uh, nonprofit, all this. So these are all, you know, Wikipedia in this language. I don't know what that is. Um, and we get down, we'll find, you know, these are all Wikipedias and then they are segmented. Let's say you don't need the entire Wikipedia, which is considered the all maxi, maximum, uh, all no pick, so no pictures. And then these are, you're going to find varying sizes for, you know, this language has not had a whole lot of, Wikipedia translated. So that's why it's 1.3 gig. The uh, We're going to get to the English Wikipedia, all maxi. Okay. You know, so that's, that's an 87 gigabyte download just to have Wikipedia. So I did them through torrents. Uh, let's keep going down and I'll show you some of the other stuff. So we're going to get by all the Wikipedia, you know, movies, movies, physics, physics. Uh, Wiki Voyage is a good one. This is, uh, actually, I should show you that one. So how cool is this? Type in your hometown, Collingwood, Ontario, and you already have information about your locality and like ev everywhere, wherever it is, let's say. Uh, to have all of this at your fingertips, not connected to the internet, just seems like why would you not, why could you possibly not want this? It's really not all that hard to accomplish and it's a good learning project. 
And I think any time that you can help yourself be more self-sufficient or self-reliant, um, we also get into one thing I haven't downloaded, the TED Talks. You can get a lot of them through here, but they're all segmented kind of. So you have to know exactly what you are interested in getting before you get them. And then right near the bottom is where all of the, uh, you know, individual where there's only maybe one or two or three of each. Like, so as far as getting it installed, I have it, you know, this is probably the most complicated way where I'm sending it from uh, a server in my home to every device that is connected to my internet. If let's say you maybe only use one computer, you're, you're living on your own, um, or you only have one device, uh, it's, it's uh, much easier to implement it than the way I have. So I went, you know, downloads for the server and I've done it on an open media vault through Docker portainer, but you know, we also have a windows option. I'm not going to do that right now or, you know, walk us through that process because there are lots of variations to it and, you know, it depends on your device and all that. But as you can see, you know, Raspberry Pi, Linux, Windows, Android, Mac, iPhones, uh, it's, it's very available. QX, I think it's really cool. I think you should check it out if you like information, like having access to information and like to be able to do things yourself. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you think this is helpful, uh, maybe give it a like, share, something like that. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think, what you think I should uh, make my next video about. Thanks. Take care.